When Warzone 2 came out, I was very confused because I really enjoyed Call of Duty Warzone. When Warzone came out, we were playing on Verdance when Rebirth Island was introduced. It was a ton of fun. And then when Warzone 2 came out, I started playing it and I went, wait a minute, this isn't fun. And it made me question myself. It made me question whether I was just bored during the pandemic, whether I just enjoyed spending some time with friends online, or whether Warzone was a good game, but just ruined by the Warzone 2 update. Needless to say, I did not like Warzone 2. In fact, I barely played it. If you watched videos on my channel, I barely talked about it. I barely played it. I just didn't enjoy it. And I think that came down to a couple of game design decisions that just simply did not make any sense. I think the easiest example of that is the 2v2 gulag. Why did that ever make sense? Whose idea was that? And what decision came to that point? It just didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But there were many things like that throughout the game. But all in all, it was a big, big disappointment. Now comes Warzone 3, the point of this video. If you didn't know, yesterday Warzone got a really big update. It essentially changed a lot of the gameplay of Warzone as a whole. And in fact, a lot of it got reverted to original Warzone things. Some of it is brand new and a very minuscule amount is implemented from Warzone 2. But as a whole, this creates a new game, Warzone Update or Warzone 3. I think I'm gonna refer to it as Warzone 3 for throughout this video just to make things be able to understand a little bit easier. But what I wanted to do in this video is go through and give you my overall starting opinions on Warzone 3. So maybe we can go back and look at this, discuss things that we talk about in this a little bit later. Maybe I'm right about things, maybe I'm wrong, but I just wanted to give you my initial opinion. And by the very end, give you an overarching opinion on what I think of the current state of Warzone. So I'm going to do this by first off starting talking about the bad things and then some things that are kind of in the middle, and then some good things, and then give you my overall opinion. So let's start out with the nitty gritty. Let's get into the bad stuff. Now, I want to start by saying I am not going to go super in depth with this. I'm not going to talk about individual perks or individual weapons. That's for a week from now when I give you some more advanced opinions on the games. But to start out, I think there are two bad things in Warzone 3. The first of which is the audio. If you've played it, you probably noticed most of the time you just can't hear footsteps. They don't have covert boots or anything like that. Dead silence, ninja, whatever you want to call it. There is just no footstep audio, which means everyone is sneaking up on you all the time. It is very, very frustrating and it needs to be fixed. That is a big, big issue and something that I think a battle royale needs to do really well to succeed is the audio. The second thing that I think is currently in a pretty bad state is the weapon balance. I think there are currently some weapons in Warzone that are just amazing. And then there's a bunch of weapons that are just in the middle. And then there's some weapons that are just garbage. But these weapons that are so, so good are so unbalanced with everything else that there is just currently just a top tier of weapons. And don't worry, I'll have a video coming out with the best loadouts and things like that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, have notifications on that kind of thing. But as of right now, those two things, audio and weapon balance, are probably the worst aspects of the game. Now let's move into some things that are kind of in the middle. The first of which is the map. As a whole, I think the map looks good, I think it's fun, and I think it only plays okay. One thing I find a lot as I go through this map is that almost every area that I go to, people are on roofs, just literally everywhere. And I completely see why they implemented the horizontal zip lines. They are needed on this map. Now, this could change as I get used to the map, find faster ways to get up to the top of roofs, counteract them, things along those lines. But as of right now, I think that is going to be a big issue with this map. Just people on roofs everywhere. They're going to be camping with it and it will become frustrating. That is a prediction. I'm not saying I'm right about it, but from what I have seen in one day, I have seen a lot of people on roofs and it could be just people aren't used to the map. Now, the second thing is the perk system. Now, the perk system as a whole, I think is pretty good. I like the fact that you are immediately given a bunch of movement mechanics that are faster and don't worry, we will get to movement, but I like that. And then on top of that, when you get your loadout, you get to choose between four different perks. 
Now, these perks are sectioned off into their individual perk classes, and some of them are much stronger than others. And that is where the issue lies with the perks currently, is there are some perks that are going to be crutch perks. You are going to need to use these perks to be in the meta. And this has always been a problem with Call of Duty. That isn't just in Warzone 3. But some of these are so much stronger than the other ones. I think there needs to be some balancing done inside of there. And I think they will as more and more gets updated, more people play, they get some data on it, things along those lines. But as of right now, I like the system. I think the perks inside just need to be balanced correctly. Now, let's move on to the good things. Weapon play. I think weapons feel good in this game. When I pick up a weapon, they feel snappy, they feel responsive. That is a good thing. That is something Call of Duty often does very well. However, I felt like they didn't in Modern Warfare 2. Maybe that was just me, but that's how it felt to me. And one thing that felt horrible in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 was the movement. Talk about feeling clunky. You felt heavy. You felt like you couldn't get anywhere. You felt frustrated every time someone shot at you because essentially you were just screwed. They also made the time to kill longer than they did with the original Warzone 2, which is a big improvement in my opinion, especially if you're playing solos. In Warzone 2, if you got caught with your pants down in the middle of somewhere, you didn't have the movement mechanics to deal with it. You had such low health that you would just get nuked and there was essentially nothing you could do, which means the only way to play solos is to sit in a room and wait for someone to come for you. But this is a battle royale map, and if you do that, you're not going to get very many kills. It is going to be very boring. Insert good movement, insert a good map, and insert a longer time to kill. All of a sudden, we can be doing some things in solos. We can be sliding around corners. We can be jumping over to get headshots. Things like this are very good for Warzone. And with the implementation, they feel really good. Now, I've heard some people say that this feels slower than Modern Warfare 3, and I don't think that's necessarily true. I think it's more so of a case of you've been playing Modern Warfare 3 for a month, this map's bigger, there's more places to go, so it's going to feel slower. I think that's what's going on there, but I'm going to have to do some more testing. Now, something that I like that I don't think many people will or will agree with, I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. I think the pacing of Warzone 3 is really, really good. They made the overall game length shorter. I believe it's like 20 minutes and 20 seconds or something along those lines. And it feels quick. It constantly feels like the zone's moving in quickly and I have to be making decisions, moving from area, making rotations. I do think the player count could be like a little bit higher, maybe like 120 players. Uh, I don't think it needs to go up to 150. However, that could be fun for an LTM or see how it feels and maybe they implement it. But pacing as a whole, even though we're playing on a big battle royale map, almost feels a little bit more like a resurgence game mode just because those zones are closing faster than we previously saw, especially in Warzone 2. And yes, it is a bigger map. It's the second biggest Warzone map of all time. But because the zones close faster, there's more action, more rotations. And in my opinion, with that faster movement, it just feels faster and better. Another thing that I love, this is a smaller one. I'm not going to go much smaller than this is the Gulag. I actually really like this Gulag. Now that could be because in my few hours of playing yesterday, I didn't lose a single Gulag. I've never been that good in the Gulag, so that might be part of it. But I like how small it is. I like the fact that when you kill someone, you can run around, pick up some stuff, loot a little bit, and bring that back with you. I like that there's events in the Gulag, how you can get another try, or you can come back fully loaded with a weapon and full armor. I like those additions. It adds a little bit of randomness and a little bit of battle royale to the Gulag and you're rewarded for actually winning a little bit more, which in my opinion is a very good improvement to the Gulag. Now remember how I talked about the bad Gulag in Warzone 2? This is a good iteration of the Gulag, at least in my opinion. But this is where my problem in lies with Warzone 3. I really like it. I think it is really good. In other words, it does not suck. However, I have a big problem with it. This feels so similar, not exactly, but very similar to Warzone 1. This feels like what Warzone 2 should have been. And if it were to have been this, we would just be so much further ahead in Warzone and as a game as a whole than we are now. We got held back for an entire year because of Warzone 2. And this next iteration of it just doesn't feel like it's advanced as it should be because of Warzone 2. So 
Am I mad at Warzone 3 because of it? No, I'm just a tad bit frustrated because it makes me wonder where could Warzone be as a game now if Infinity Ward didn't really, really mess up Warzone 2. And I could be in some minority here where you guys watching this really enjoyed Warzone 2. However, it just wasn't my cup of tea. So if I'm giving this as a breakdown to you guys, I give Warzone 3 a solid 7.8 out of 10. You fix the footsteps and add some better weapon balancing. This goes up to like an 8.8 .8, and I put the original Warzone at like a 9. So we are right on par. We are getting there and in they add some cool new things and maybe address some of the camping issues that I think we're going to have with this map. Maybe, just maybe, we could have something better than Warzone 1. But hey, if you disagree with me, feel free. That's what these type of videos are for. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this kind of commentary, more ranty style video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty, Warzone, Zombies, Multiplayer, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars.